Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. The power of free model. It's one of the best ICT models that you can use. And personally, I almost get an entry every time I trade with this model. So in this video, I'm going to cover all the secrets I've learned trading the ICT power free. First of all, we're going to talk about the fundamentals. So we want to see accumulation, where price consolidates within the same general range. And after that, we want to see manipulation, where price both sweeps the low of the accumulation and also engineers liquidity, or it steps down into a PDRA. After that, we want to see distribution going in the opposing direction where price manipulated. So if price manipulates to the downside, then we want to see distribution to the upside. And the distribution to take out the high of the accumulation and also reach an important level. Now let's talk about this example. So we saw the price accumulated or consolidated, then price manipulated, taking out the low of the accumulation and also engineering liquidity. Then after that, price distributed higher, reaching all the way up for this hourly SIPI. So we saw that this example fulfilled all the criteria where price accumulated, then manipulated lower, taking out the low of the accumulation, also engineering liquidity, and after that distributed higher, reaching a point of interest. For the next example, we see that price is accumulating or consolidating, then price manipulated higher, taking out the high of the accumulation, and also swept this high up here with little displacement above it. So it's very important when price is manipulating that we look for a place where price is most likely to reverse from. And that could be price engineering liquidity. Then after that, we see price distributed lower, sweeping the low of the accumulation, also sweeping a lot of low resistance liquidity and engineered liquidity. And lastly, also tap down into this 4-hour PDRA. Up here on the 4-hour time frame, we could see the price tap down into this 4-hour fair value gap that was within a discount. When price is distributing and manipulating, we want to look for a point of interest where price is most likely going to reach for. So we saw that the manipulation swept the high of the accumulation and also swept this high up here with little displacement. So that case, price reversed from this area. And then price distributed lower, reaching for a drawn liquidity, which was the 4-hour failure gap and also engineered a lot of low resistance liquidity. So when price is manipulating and distributing, we want to look for a drawn liquidity. Now for this example, we saw that price is accumulating, then price manipulated higher, sweeping the high of the accumulation, also reaching up for the all-time highs, and then after that, starting to distribute lower. And here again, we saw that price is accumulating, then price manipulated higher, reaching a point of interest, which was this inversion value gap. And then after that, distributed lower, going all the way down to these relative equal lows. So we saw how another AMD model distributed lower, turning into a second AMD model, where price again accumulated, manipulated up to a point of interest, then distributed lower, reaching our drawn liquidity. So now let's talk about how we can find a trade entry based on the AMD model. Down here on the 15 minute time frame, let's now talk about how we can take a trade entry based on the hourly AMD model. So we mostly want to take a trade entry in the manipulation or the start of the distribution. And when we take trades within the manipulation, we want to take reversal trades. And when we take trades within the distribution, we want to take either retracements or continuation trades. So the, for, for the manipulation, we see the price has this kind of V-shape that often indicates bullish prices. But then we saw price disrespected this kind of V-shape. So in that case, price is now bearish. So in that case, we take a trade entry based on price closing below this value gap, creating an inversion value gap. Then we could put our stop loss at this high, and then target the other side of the accumulation, which would make a decent 1R. And we also saw that we had relative equal those. We could also, of course, hold the trade until the drawn liquidity, which would be all the way down here for the relative equal those. But we don't even need to hold the trade for that long to at least get to risk score ratio. So now let's get over to the next example. So we saw the price distributed lower, then going into this another AMD model, where price accumulated, then price manipulated higher, taking out a point of interest, which was the one hour inversion value gap. Then we saw price distributed lower, 
going down to the relative equal lows. So same again, we want to look for a trade entry within the manipulation. So in that case, we take a trade entry based on this inversion value gap, put our stop loss at the high of the hourly inversion value gap, and then target the relative equal lows, which is the drawn liquidity. That will make a 16 risk reward ratio, but of course we could just target two risk reward ratio if we wanted to. So just as long as we are trading in the direction the drawn liquidity is. And we saw that price did disrespect the inversion value gap, but it didn't disrespect the idea of lower prices. This was on the 15 minute time frame, and if you were to go even lower down to the 5 minute or 1 minute time frame, you could probably have got a better entry. As we saw that this inversion value gap got disrespected, but the MD model still hold it. So now let's go over to the next example where we're going to talk about how we can time a power free. Now we're going to talk about how we can time and anticipate the manipulation and also the distribution. So first of all, we have to look for the accumulation. And after that, we have to look for a draw on liquidity, as where price is most likely to draw towards. And for this example, we see that the draw on liquidity is the all-time highs slash external range liquidity. As we know, prices move, moves from internal range liquidity up to external range liquidity. So in that case, that's a draw on liquidity. Then we could anticipate manipulation to the downside, reaching a point of interest and also sweeping the low of the accumulation. So right here we have the low of the accumulation and we also have this value gap, which price respects the consequent encouragement of. After that, we see that this is the manipulation lag. Then if we were to take a trade entry based on the external range liquidity being the drawn liquidity and also, of course, the other side of the accumulation, we could take this inversion value gap. And then we're going to put our stop loss at the low of the manipulation as price should not reach this leg right here. And then we're going to target external range liquidity and that will make a 6.6 .6 risk reward ratio. So we can time and anticipate the power free by looking for a draw on liquidity. If we were to go up to the 30 minute time frame, we can see the price accumulated from this high to this low, price consolidated. Then after that price manipulated lower, both sweeping the low of the accumulation and also taps down into this 30 minute value gap. And then after that price distributes higher, taking out external range liquidity. And when price have taken out external range liquidity, where is the drawn liquidity now? Internal range liquidity. So you could say that this distribution leg was kind of manipulation.